morning y'all i believe this is day four day four in the woods so had that good old grouse last night um we did hear one bugle as we were going to bed and i think we're just gonna circle the mountain basically today split up and circle the mountain we got some more guys that came in trevor came in which is trench brother from from born and raised um brian from hushin and there's one other guy as well so we are uh we were a full pack i think there's nine guys now so we're gonna split up and we're gonna circle this mountain and try to get an elk down today last night was my best night's sleep yet it was not very cold up here it was probably in the 40s it was a little windy but now it's calm beautiful so we're just gonna eat a little breakfast start bugling and walking probably put in another you know seven to ten miles a day but work hard good stuff's gonna happen so four days deep baby wish us good luck Before we get going, we gotta get a little coffee action. This is what we're looking like day four. Getting a little crusty. Here, just getting a little, little greasy out here. Long. One of the strangest things is uh, a lot of other guys in here have long hair. We've been sharing a hairbrush. Very strange. I'm sure, I'm sure, my wife Stephanie would get a kick out of that. A little latte. A latte. Creamer. Yeah, Justin just gave it to me. I'm gonna get jacked up. A couple dudes sharing lattes out in the woods. What could be weird? Yeah. I haven't brushed yet. I haven't brushed <laughs> yet. day six. Oh, you're sharing a cup of coffee. I thought yeah. you were Yeah. Oh, okay. Sharing is caring. Yeah. Coronavirus? That doesn't exist. Up yeah. Here. No. No, it doesn't.
here we are. It's about 9.20. This is about the time we saw a bull on the first day. Um, I got a good feeling about today. And you brushed your teeth for the first time in four days. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we're killing milk. For so sure. you're feeling good. Yeah. yeah. This country looks really good down it here. It does, man. Yeah, the stuff we were in last night, it was pretty barren. Yeah. Not a lot of sun. We're finding some pretty fresh sun in here. Heard some bulls down here, so. You brushed your teeth for the first time in four days? Yeah. yeah. And he's you, a dentist. You know I'm a dentist. <laughs> I got a ton of floss in here. <laughs> Gotta watch that around, Trevor. Hey, that's okay. I, I've been using like a dental pick, though. Like the, okay. like the floss yeah. picks. I've been that's using good. one of those. Well, you, you get a little stinky out here, but you know, me and Larkin yesterday, we made a pack that, you know, if one of us kills a bull, we're gonna split the meat. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and the way we're doing this, we got Trevor out front calling, uh, Jake's filming, and then me and JT today are the shooters for this group. So when we locate a bull and get him coming in, we're gonna set up on two different sides and you know, hopefully he'll go one direction that one of us will get a shot. So that's our plan divide and conquer and uh feel good about it you feel good about it dude i feel good i think I'll if we today. get on one in here i think we'll get him get him called in i do too i love all this lush stuff that you can see and these little draws we're seeing really fresh signs so i always say like in bass fishing you eliminate water and then you can kind of figure out the patterns so over the course of these four days we've been figuring out the patterns to getting our first opportunity. Sometimes you gotta mix it up. Sometimes you pitch them something else. Maybe they want a, like a bladed something. Yeah. Spinner bait, great bait. Right, the wind's up. Yeah. Spinner bait should work. A little cloud cover. I feel good about this area. This is around where we had some activity earlier. And it just looks like it has the right elements. Yeah, last night they bugled from this, this yeah, zone. That too. This morning, we definitely heard a real bull vehicle down here. It's about 4.15 right now. We had just heard two different vehicles from two different locations, none of which we're really sure about, if they're people or elk, but uh, I think we're gonna wait it out here for about an hour. Wait till 5.15, 5.30, and then maybe start heading that way easily but we want to wait and sit here and see if if it is an elk in its bed. Maybe it's just torching off when they're bedded down like that. They can't bugle like the full volume. So sometimes it can be like short, muffled, and it kind of felt like that, but it just seems, it doesn't make sense though that like it would be bedded where we were just eating lunch. <laughs> so that's what kind of is throwing me. But and normally this is like, style of unsuited but since we have some sound oh yeah we, but not, it's not crazy this is more of a slow play yeah we we've transitioned to a slow play game when we know when we're in that elk zone when we heard a bugle but we're not quite sure gotcha. we'll go from a 10 to a 2 gotcha. we're okay with sitting for a few hours if that's what's gonna end us punching a tag but 
It's not. If you were to say what's our game, that's not our game. But, you're, but we have you're it at the arsenal. Yeah, you, you need some talent. You need some bugles to really yeah. hit hard. You know, we've been putting on a lot of miles, and we just heard a couple sounds of elk. So. It's time to hit the brakes. <laughs> we don't want to blow right by. Yeah. <laughs> This was not the mountain fellas. Did you hear that? Trevor just made a call. There's a guy in like a, you know, Jansport walking by. Just giving him a little cow call. And then there's another one over here on this ridge. And we've run into two sets of hunters today. Yeah. We've been four hunters we've called in, basically. We've called in four and we've avoided about four more. That's, that's kind of a lot. Boys, I think, I think social media is out there, eh? <laughs> hey, bud. Hey, bud. <laughs> that, that's my bad. How about that Facebook, eh? That's my bad. <laughs> Sorry. Trevor, you're filling the woods here, guy. Yeah, maybe next time we should hunt some private land. <laughs> Go kill him. That's a real one. Go, boys.
happens when you're raking. Ow. And he sounded a long ways off. That's good after it. Is that number six or seven? Oh, yeah. So, we're like dew. We're like there. Yeah. Mm. Oh, my gosh, your gosh. I was like that close to seeing. I've been waiting on that moment where I see an elk step out of the woods. I see its face and everything. Still, I'm not seeing that. Yeah, old son. I can't see you, Jake. We're rolling. I'm gonna zip up my fly. Oh. oh! So, we just went on a night trek. We got on a little bull there late. Something happened. Had a little mishap, you know. At this point, I think these elk are just ghosts. Because <laughs> all I have seen is just rear ends, and then hear noises, and then they just disappear like ghosts. So it'll be an incredible feat if I get one down, <laughs> and I will eventually. But, you know, we, we got down trail chasing this elk, and then Trevor said, you know, it's going to be about a mile hike back to, uh, you know, a little base camp. We'll go, uh, we'll go meet up the hill there, and that turned out to be about, I think, three and a half miles. <laughs> I think that's what that was. <laughs> so I can't feel my ankles or my toes. Um, skin is probably off this point and um, if you guys are wondering about coming out and elk hunting you know if it's gonna be a breeze I'm here to tell you it's probably not gonna be a breeze <laughs> <laughs> so if you really want some meat there's a lot of just good farm-raised beef cows out there you could purchase <laughs> probably cheaper than you know this bow right here but if you want to get a good outdoor experience you come do this so Trevor, thank you for that that last jaunt there. I feel yeah. I feel better now. You do. I feel like I can conquer more in life. I was I was worried that you would never speak to me. <laughs> you turned on the afterburners there, bud. <laughs> I was like, he just kicked it into a new gear. But we made it. It's all good now. And this is just part of the journey, y'all. When we finally get one down, it's gonna be amazing. Part of the story. Hell of a story. <sighs> Folks, <laughs> this is what I look like on day five. Oh, that hike last night was pretty brutal. But um, everybody's getting out. The other part of our, our team is at the trucks. I think they drank beer all night. And um, they have the four-wheelers, so it may be a while till they come get us. So we're just kind of stuck here, hanging out at the tent. But just wanted to give you guys a little home tour of what we got going on. Basically, I want to look at the camera too, see my face, see what that looks like. It doesn't look too good. Oh, let's flip this camera around. Definitely still sore from the hiking. Just a little skin and whatnot. Pretty dirty, pretty dirty on the hands. Sleep system has turned out pretty well, though. Uh, my 20 degree backs kept us pretty warm. Um, it was it was pretty cold last night. I had two really cold nights, but we've got like one more meal in here. I think we're gonna drink a little coffee and uh, we're gonna head back into town. The reason we're gonna head back into town is today is when a storm front is starting to come in. Tomorrow, they're calling for the low to be nine degrees, seven to eight inches of snow. Um, the high is only like 20 in the 20s, like 22. Folks, that's really cold. That's really cold. I don't, I don't have the gear. None of us have the gear up here with us on our backs to uh, hunt through that. And plus, just talking to Trevor and Trent and the other guys, like they don't really, I was going to say, they don't really bite in that weather. <laughs> They don't really bugle in that weather. 
Um, it's just not good. It's just not good conditions. Usually after that though, it's on fire. So it's today's day five. We're going to go four more days of hunting. Um, so we still got an opportunity. Hopefully it turns on. Absolutely fun living out here in the woods. I know it looks like hell, but I'm enjoying every minute. So thank you guys for tuning in today. Stay tuned for the next one. And hey, you want to see something cool? Check out this view. Oh, let's put on the boots here. Didn't really get a good view last night, but we should be on top of the mountain right now. So let's go get us a morning mountain view. that y'all all the smoke up here in Colorado from the fires is making this haze but you can just see the layers of mountains good morning buddy What's up? how are you I'm doing good I'm doing hey. great today yeah we did pretty good did pretty a little hike last night that's a beautiful view y'all to wake up to okay JT we yeah. got to get us an elk in the next few days okay yeah, we, we're gonna have like two days to do it I mean we've worked this hard we, we got to do it, but we're going to take a refresher next episode. We're going into town. We're going to party a little bit. We're going to pamper ourselves <laughs> after being out here in the woods. So we'll see you guys soon on the next episode. Subscribe. Don't miss a single day in the woods. Later.